So to prepare your little watering can, make sure that you've sealed up the hole in here because you don't want soil draining out over the cascades of glass. This is only a little one for indoors, but if you wanted this out somewhere, I'd recommend that you put some drainage holes in the back here. If you're buying it from me and you're using it as a planter straight away and you'd like us to put the drainage holes in it to begin with, just put a note into the seller to add drainage holes and I'll do that for you. So I've got these little plugs and because I'm working with a small watering can, I actually think it's going to fill the watering can up pretty nicely on its own. So let's get the first one in. Tease that through. I think a nice white one to go with it. And luckily I've pre-watered these plants so they're very nice and moist when they're going in. If not, remember any time that you plant up anything to give it a good water in to let the roots settle in. So I'm fighting for space a little bit here. So I'm going to have to take a bit of you away. It's got a really good root structure on it, these ones. And these are only from a local supermarket, so I'm really pleased. That's better. Much happier. So make sure that's nice and firmly planted and nice and secure. I'm not going to need to add any additional soil to that. But what I am going to do in a minute is I'm going to put some grit on the top, which is going to help prevent the soil coming out if it tips. And that is going to hang nicely like that. 